The hospitality and entertainment industries have been hit uh, some of the hardest by this coronavirus. So many people out of work. We are hoping that a virtual concert will help local musicians and gig workers in need. And we're helping put it on with a live show called Live from the Porch. That will be on Facebook and Instagram tomorrow. Joining us now with more on the benefit is Victoria Adam Phipps with the New Orleans Business Alliance who's partnering with us on this. And you guys have done a remarkable job. We were just talking off camera. Uh, your goal was to raise a half a million dollars and you're almost there. That's absolutely right. We launched the Gig Economy Relief Fund on March 16th with $100,000 of our own funding from the New Orleans Business Alliance. Uh, since then, the fund has grown to over $480,000. Uh, our initial goal was half a million and we feel very sure that we're gonna hit that in the next 24 hours. Um, but we're hosting this concert on Saturday afternoon, April 4th at 4 p.m., uh, really to generate further support for the fund, but also to bring a sense of shared community, a sense of um, levity to our uh, community across New Orleans yeah. who's going through this unprecedented crisis with and us. How do you decide who the money goes to and, and how do you distribute it? That's a great question. Um, so the relief fund is issuing $500 grants. To date, we have issued over 100 of them. Uh, you have to be a resident of Orleans Parish. You must make at least 60% of your income through the gig economy, and you must be able to demonstrate some type of loss as a result of COVID-19. Um, we have received over 1,300 applications to date, so the need is immense. And that gig economy, in, uh, our, our gig workers includes musicians, right? That's absolutely right, and that's really what the call is about this weekend. Uh, so Saturday's concert is going to feature five of our uh, nearest and dearest and some of our favorite local artists. Uh, we'll be featuring Robin Barnes and Pat Casey, Walter Wolfman Washington, Susan Castle and Russ Broussard, and DJ Raj Shmoo, Shamar Allen. It's going to be an incredible lineup featuring local talent of every um, type and genre. And so th th they'll be in different locations, or how does that work? That's a great question as well. So they'll be streaming to us live from their front porches. Yeah. Um, so we will be seeing different neighborhoods on display. We'll be seeing these artists' personalities on display. And hopefully it's a good time for everyone involved. And now will it be uh, like one concert with Robin Barnes, one with Wolfman Washington, uh, Walter Wolfman Washington, then another with uh, Susan Cowsdale, et cetera, et cetera? That's exactly right. So folks that are watching at home will have one seamless experience, but our team is going to be bouncing all over the city, uh, maintaining social distancing, of course, but we'll be capturing the show from different locations all over the city. I don't know logistically if it's possible, but if you could have like five or six boxes up and have them all play together, that would be incredible. We'll see what we can do. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be pretty awesome. But the work you guys are doing is great. Thank you so much, and we're so proud to partner with WWL-TV and French Quarter Festivals on this. We're glad to be part of it. The virtual concert starts streaming live tomorrow at 4 p.m. You can watch it on the Instagram and Facebook accounts of the New Orleans Business Alliance or French Quarter Festivals. The lineup includes Shamar Allen, Robin Barnes, Walter Wolfman Washington, uh, and a whole lot more. Susan Cowsdale, that's going to be a good concert. It'll be fun to watch. You can